Hello everyone, welcome to Robot Framework Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the keywords that are available in Robot Framework Selenium Library to handle the alerts in your web UI automation. So uh, the keywords that we are going to discuss today are handle alert, um, input text into the alert, uh, alert should be present and alert should not be present. So if you go to the Selenium Library uh, link here, Robot Framework Selenium Library, you will see all the keywords that are available in the Keyword Cloud here, right? So these are all the shortcuts or the Keyword Cloud that you can utilize in your automation. So let's find the handle uh, alert keyword. So, or I'll just type in alert. Uh, and you can see that handle alert, uh, input text into alert, uh, alert should be present and should not be present, right? So if I go to handle alert keyword, you can see the arguments that it accepts. It accepts the action as accept, uh, the timeout. So for example, you want to wait for the alert for five seconds, 10 seconds, um, then you can specify the timeout, right? So here are some of the examples to handle alert. So what all actions it accepts, it accepts um, uh, the argument as accept, or you can dismiss the alert, or you can leave the alert as open. So if you pass the argument as accept, it will accept the JavaScript alert. Um, and if you pass the argument dismiss, it will dismiss it. And if you pass the argument leave, it will leave the alert open on that particular page. Now, these are some of the examples which will be really, really handy for any of the keywords that you are looking for in robot framework automation. So it will give you all the examples that uh, are the formats that you can utilize for that particular keyword. So for example, handle alert. If you don't give any arguments by default, it accepts that particular alert. So you directly, if you just want to accept the alert, you can just specify handle alert without any argument. You can also specify the argument like handle alert and provide the action specific. Um, uh, say for example, you don't want to accept the alert, but you want to dismiss the alert. Then in that case, you have to provide the argument as dismiss uh, in the action. And timeout uh, is optional as well. So if you want to specify the timeout, you can specify timeout or if you don't want to specify timeout, you can just leave that or don't pass that argument. So that's basically how you will get into details of handling these keywords or learning more about these keywords uh, once you go to this Selenium library. Now to demo the alert keywords or handling the JavaScript alert, I'll use this uh, W3Schools um, sample page, which is if you click on this JavaScript, it gives you an alert box, right? So it says I'm an alert box and all those alert keywords that I'm talking about will be handling all these sort of pop-ups and uh, JavaScript alerts that you get on uh, the pages, right? Uh, most of the time you'll get these and you have to handle in your automation uh, scripts. So that's how these four keywords will help you in handling these alerts and to also verify whether the alert is present or it's not present. So verification of the alerts as well. Now, going back to the slide here, so handle alert, what it does it, it handles the current alert and returns it, its message. So for example, if you if you click on try it, it's the message is I'm an alert box. So uh, if you use the handle alert keyword, it will either accept it or dismiss it or uh, leave it open and uh, depending on what argument you pass in the action and then it will return this message if you specify in uh, a variable then it will return that very uh, that message then input text into alert so if there is an alert which requires uh, uh, an input text so input text into alert keyword will help you to input the text and if you go to the selenium library here um, and go to the uh, input text into alert, right? So it will give you the uh, the arguments that you, to, you need to pass. So input text into alert. So you need to pass on the text and then with the alert, what you want to do. So action, whether you want to accept or, you know, dismiss after inputting the text. Now, by default, the alert is accepted. 
So if you don't specify any action or timeout and you just specify the text, it will input the text and accept that particular alert, right? Uh, the third keyword is alert should be present, which is basically to verify that the alert is present on the page. And the fourth is to verify that the alert is not present. So it verifies that no alert is present on the page. With the alert should be present, it verifies that it is present and by default accept it. Okay, so you have to keep that in mind. If you, if you have doubt for any of the keywords that we have covered till now, just refer to the Robot Framework Selenium Library and it will give you all the arguments that are being accepted along with the examples. All right, so let's understand the code for this these keywords and how you can write the code in a robot framework to handle the keywords. So this is the file that I have already created so handling alerts.robot uh, and I have already created different uh, options or different sections of the code to handle different type of alerts and I've already written the code here but I'll show you one um, quickly how you can you know write or start writing your code um, so the first step in handling the alert would be you know or any automation script is basically once you go to the um, you need to go to that particular page right so what we'll do is we need to launch the page first okay so we'll use the keyword um, open browser two spaces and the URL okay that we want to open two spaces and the browser in which we want to open it right the next step is to basically so this is this page has two frames if you see so this is the one frame and then this is the result frame okay so we have to switch frame okay so we have to first select the frame where we want to click so because to get an alert on this page you have to click on try it and then it will show you the alert so we have to first come to this uh, or get the control to this frame so we'll inspect this part here right click inspect in the chrome browser and you can see that i'm here in this particular uh, this this html document is highlighted right if I click on this little icon in Chrome after inspecting and hover my mouse here, you can see that this particular portion is being uh, highlighted, right? And if you see at the top a little bit, so this is the body, this is the HTML document and above that is the frame, iframe, okay? And the ID of that frame is iframe results. So what I'll do is I'll simply copy that ID and then in my code I'll say select frame which is another uh, keyword available in robot framework and then specify the ID of the frame that I want to select okay once I am I have selected the frame I'll maximize um, browser window okay so that's another keyword which we have already seen a couple of times then I'll click on the button okay so click button and what button I am clicking I am clicking on this try it button so to inspect or to get the locator of the try it button just right click click on inspect and you will see that button has been highlighted if you just right click and copy the X path okay command F let's paste the X path here right so that uh, web element has been highlighted so command F in Mac OS control F in Windows in the Chrome browser so here what we'll do is we can simply simplify it so we can just say uh, forward slash forward slash body and button okay so that's the X path that we have got and we'll just say xpath and provide the xpath okay so what this click button will do is it will give us an alert for that particular uh, javascript alert and then we can use i'll use sleep of two seconds and then i'll use handle alert okay 
keyword two spaces and with the handle alert if we have if we see here in the selenium library let me all right so handle alert so you'll see that the arguments are action and timeout okay if i don't provide any uh, arguments it will by default accept it if i want to provide the argument it's very simple so two spaces and then just say action is equal to uh, dismiss if you want to dismiss the alert uh, or accept right or leave okay if you want to leave the alert open you can just say leave act as an action you can this is optional so if you just say uh, the keyword two spaces leave or accept or dismiss it will work exactly the same way okay so the format is uh, you can choose any format you can choose either uh, the specify the action and provide accept uh, dismiss or leave or you can simply to provide two spaces and say accept or dismiss or leave okay uh, apart from that if you see the handle alert keyword uh, here you will see that you can specify the uh, action and the timeout as well right so you, timeout is also uh, can be specified so for example you want to wait for five sec seconds or ten seconds on the page before um, moving on so you can specify the timeout right so here what you can do is I can just say uh, accept two spaces and then timeout uh, is equal to uh, five seconds okay so that's about uh, the handling alert now the next keyword uh, I'll show you so this is basically let me pull the code up so the next we have seen the handle alert now handle alert all also returns the message that is displayed in the alert so what I have done is I have stored that message in the scalar variable message one okay for the first alert then the second alert which I'm dismissing uh, and with the weight of uh, the time of, of two seconds so you can see I've used um, you know like 2s here and then without the timeout here uh, and storing it into the message to variable then uh, the next keyword is input text into alert so what this keyword will do is if the alert is present uh, it will input whatever the text you are trying to input into that particular uh, alert and by default input text into alert will accept that alert unless until you specifically want to decline it right so for example uh, if you want to decline uh, or dismiss the alert you just need to specify action uh, sorry the, the text and two spaces and then in the action you just say uh, dismiss okay so after uh, inputting the text into the alert it will dismiss that alert instead of by default accepting it so if you go to the documentation here uh, we'll get into uh, we'll go to the top sorry and so input text into alert right so here you see that the alert is accepted by default but that behavior can be controlled by using action argument okay so you can specify the action argument after the text and then if you want to specify timeout you can specify timeout as well so these uh, arguments you you can pass so i have provided the action dismiss right after inputting the text then the next keyword is alert should be present okay so it is verifying that alert is present on the page right and what text you are verifying so alert should be present we'll verify or we'll go through the keyword uh, alert should be present okay so here you can see that it verifies the text okay so whatever text uh, it should be present on the alert okay and accept it so it will fail this keyword will fail if the alert is not present okay 
if text is non empty string then it is used to verify alert message so if you specify the text that you want to verify you can specify the text or you can simply say alert should be present and the action so it's optional so all this text you can specify or you can you know um, don't specify if you don't want to verify the text on the alert then alert should not be present that verifies that the alert is not present on the page and by default the action is accept for alert should not be present as well but if you want to dismiss the alert in case the alert pops up on the page then you can use the action as dismiss so this is brief about the alerts so let's go to our code here and run this so here you can see i have uh, gone through uh, different uh, urls which will pop up different type of alerts and then we'll, we are handling these alerts okay so the first one is basically to open browser and accept the alert the second one is to, um, is to accept the alert as well as also display the message right so let's run this file and see the result now before running this script uh, I want to show you something which is not correct here so because I have added this code to demo the handle alert so I've used open browser here which was already existing here so I've changed it to go to but I haven't forgot uh, I forgot to change the argument chrome from here so with the go to keyword you just need to specify the url where you want to navigate on the same browser so you don't need to specify the browser with the go to you uh, go to keyword okay so with just open browser so it will open the chrome browser in that same instance it will navigate to different urls so go to uh, to a different url and then again go to to a different url to show you different alert types okay so let's run this now and see how it works. So it will open the Chrome browser and accept the alert for the first one. So yep, it accepted it. Then it went to another one. And the third one will press the cancel button, dismiss the alert. It Then it verifies the text on the alert and move to the other page which doesn't have any alert and verifies that the page doesn't contain any alert right so here i'm verifying the alert should not be present on the page okay so you can see that it has uh, the action as accept and the timeout right so that is specified there so let's go to the results and verify the results so here you you see that the first one handle alert it has handle the alert it has accepted the alert right the second one will also type in the message that is displayed on the alert box so i am an alert box message has been typed in the third one will also type in the message press a button right and then input text into alert so it has input the text that i have specified into the alert and then dismissed the alert it didn't accept it didn't i provided the action as dismiss so after providing the input it has dismissed the alert right and then it has verifies the verify the alert is present and then uh, it uh, basically verified the text that is present on the uh, in the in that particular alert because i have specified the text that should be present on the alert and then i've specified the action as accept then i've specified uh, the last keyword is alert should not be present and the action is accept and the timeout right so these are some of the um, keywords that are available in robot framework selenium library to handle alerts so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching